Here in this time, here in this place, here we are standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, Holy, Holy, Holy are you. We cry, Holy, Holy, Holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here, our God is here. Here in the Word, God is revealed, here where the wounded can be healed, here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here we become what we receive. Here in this Eucharistic feast, we are His body, living as one. Our God is here. And we cry, Holy, Holy, holy are you. We cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning and welcome to the Mass of uh, this Thursday in the 17th week of the Ordinary Time. We pray in this Mass for the people of the parish, all of you here present, our brothers and sisters joining us online, and our parishioners who are also about other businesses and have already begun their day, maybe out there on the freeway, in the offices, and other places. We pray for all of you. We ask God to be with you, to protect you, and to grant us his blessings today and always. Let us take a moment now in our hearts, acknowledge our sins, and ask God for pardon and mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast, even now, to those that ever endure. Grant this. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the readings, please. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. This word came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Rise up, be off to the potter's house. There I will give you my message. 
I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, working at the wheel. Whenever the object of the clay which he was making turned out badly in his hand, he tried again, making of the clay another object of whatever sort he pleased. Then the word of the Lord came to me, Can I not do to you, house of Israel, as this potter has done, says the Lord? Indeed, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, house of Israel. The Word of the Lord Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God while I live. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jacob. Put not your trust in princes, in that sons of men in whom there is no salvation. When his spirit departs, he returns to his earth. On that day, his plans perish. Blessed is he, the God of Jacob. Blessed he whose help is in the God of Jacob whose hope is in the Lord, his God who make heaven and earth, the sea and all that is in them. Blessed is he whose help is in the God of Jesus. Listen to the words of your Son. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. When it is full, they haul it ashore and sit down to put what is good into buckets. What is bad, they throw away. Thus it will be at the end of the age. The angels will go out and separate the wicked from the righteous and throw them into the fiery furnace where there will be welling and grinding of teeth. Do you understand all these things? They answered, Yes. And he replied, Then every scribe who has been instructed in the kingdom of heaven is like the head of a household who brings from his storeroom both the new and the old. When Jesus finished these parables, he went away from there. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are happy to be in the presence of God 
as we celebrate the mass of this Thursday in the 17th week of the ordinary time. The gospel we just heard was from Matthew chapter 13, beginning from verse 47 to 53. Jesus had begun his teaching today with a parable, trying to draw a comparison of what the kingdom of heaven looks like. And he said that it is like a net thrown into the sea, which collects fish of every kind. Thinking about how this relates to our life today, I recall and connect it to how individuals who are making, you know, uh, seeking or searching for career paths, you know, how they begin their life. Because they spread the net, haul it out into the world, searching for whatever they can catch up with that resonates or relates to their aspirations in life. Personally, I have had a stint in creative arts and have tried something in sculpting. But just like a lot of other aspirations and the desires I had ventured into in my bid to become like jack of all trade, to become all things for all people, uh, I've ended up becoming master of none. <laughs> Except that in our time, according to the mercy of God, he has given me the opportunity in this glorious call to the priesthood which I am still learning how to live and to also impact not just on my life, but on the life of people I live and minister in their midst. I have tried in my life to venture into a number of areas. When I finished my high school, I wanted to enter the military. I actually started my journey, my intention was to finally study law when I enter the military of my home country, Nigeria. As God would have it, my journey into that aspiration was cut short with a ghastly motor accident I had in 1991 which left me almost in pieces, broken bones. Here, 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 here. My two legs, my two arms, my shoulder, even a little close to my eyes. And thanks to the show of love from my emeritus bishop then, Mark Unebu, God rest his soul, I returned to the seminary. After my ordination, I didn't let the desire to study law die. I enrolled for a law program and actually finished my bachelor's degree in law. I was preparing to go to the law school and practice as attorney, even as a priest. When my bishop approved that I should come to the United States, I dropped that idea. And in coming to study peace and justice, I applied to the Notre Dame University of Notre Dame, and also to the University of San Diego. I wanted to go to Notre Dame. That failed also. And I found myself here at USD, where I finished at the Crock School. So it has all been my plan, coming sometimes in conflict with God's plan for me. And when we relate all of this to the reading, the first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, God had 
told Jeremiah, Rise up, be off to the potter's house. What the potter does to clay is what God does with us, with our lives. When you watch a potter, I said I have had a stint in creative arts. I never finally became one. But that's the kind of thing. God picks us like the potter picks the clay and models something. Only him knows what it is. But what you finally see is the work of art. Beautiful, admirable. This is the same way that God has modeled you. That God has created you. I love Psalm 139 because it relates to appreciating the wonder of our creation. As uniquely as you are, God has so made you. And you can only achieve the dreams of your aspiration when you align your aspiration to what God wants you to be. So this special purpose that God puts in every creature like you, like myself, through the readings of today, as the fisherman hauls out the net and it catches a lot of fish, now you come back and sit with God to discern what will be useful to you, to our communities, and to the world. This is the way God works with each and every one of us. So, what is the deal? The deal is that you sit back and every day acknowledge, appreciate how God has made you and allow him to continue to recreate you every day as he takes you along your journey towards helping out in whatever the world might need you for. So this acknowledgement of presence is what will br bring you personal happiness. This is what will bring joy to your life and to the world. So as we offer God the mass of this day, it's like bringing ourselves before him once again, acknowledging his presence and letting him guide us in our lives so that he can take us to our goal. And whatever your dreams are, whatever they are, bring them before God and let God guide you so that you don't end up becoming, becoming me who wanted to be jack of all trades and ended up becoming master of none except this opportunity we have to celebrate the Eucharist. As members of the body of Christ, let us lift our prayers to our Heavenly Father for all our needs. For the church, May she, may she be continually blessed with an abundance of divine goodness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the world who seek the truth, may the Holy Spirit bring them to know Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from the loss of a loved one, may our crucified Lord lift them up in their time of sorrow, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people of our faith community, may God guide and protect them amid the pressure in their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the young people of our faith community and for the faithful departed, 
May they rest in the loving embrace of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions of the, the people of the parish and all those petitions deep in the bottom of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We humbly come before you, God, asking that you always hear and answer these petitions we hold dear in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Age to age we will love you. Dawn in light, we will wake with you. Into night, we will follow you. We will love you age to age. As the eagle flies to the heavens above, on wings of faith, God will bear you up. Age to age, we will love you. Dawning light, we will wake with you. Into night, we will follow you. We will love you age to age. As the lilies of the field neither toil nor spin, what splendor we find in the love God gives. Age to age we will love you, dawning light we will wake with you, into night we will follow you, we will love you age to age. Pray, my dear friends, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most holy sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Mm -hmm. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, John and Ramon, his auxiliaries, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, St. Francis of Assisi, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, and peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. May we offer to each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
we continue to thank God for bringing us to communion with our numerous brothers and sisters who are not able to join us physically. As we now prepare to receive Jesus in the Eucharist, we ask that our brothers and sisters, everyone joining us anywhere around the world at this moment, that you may open your heart to Jesus so as to spiritually receive him because he is there with you as he is here with us. And may his blessings be upon you on this day and always. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. We welcome your offerings. Use the collection box or use the online option or mail your check to support the church to the parish office. Every donation we get is appreciated. And we encourage us to always be generous in reaching out to the church. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. As we now receive Jesus in the Eucharist, let us go in his peace and love. Thanks be to God. Eucharistic ministers, please. What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this, O oh my soul? What wondrous love is this that caused the Lord of bliss to bear the dreadful curse for my soul, for my soul. To bear the dreadful curse for my soul. To God and to the Lamb I, I will sing, I will sing. To God and to the Lamb I will sing. To God and to the Lamb who is the great I am. While millions join the theme I will sing, I will sing. While millions join the theme, I will see.